my little brother had been working on a project a couple of years back um, which was all around fashion and mental health being partnered together to kind of encourage the conversations around it and <clears throat> it was all part of his FMP um, at FRA and it was an incredible piece of work that everyone loved um, and something that at the time we told him to take on you know as a you know as a business as a charity just because of how good it was and very sadly he passed away um, that summer um, just before he was meant to be going to university and after about a year or so of deliberating what I wanted to do his project kind of landed on my lap and I spoke to my parents about it and said look this is an incredible piece of work that it's just sitting on a memory stick, you know, in our house. It needs it needs to get out there. This message needs to be um, taken out there. And I said, you know, why don't we make this into a brand? Why don't I take this on? And you know, the backbone is there. He did so much work into it, and he put the whole messaging behind it and the designs and stuff. Um, all I've got to do is kind of put the business side into it. And that's what I started doing. I started working on it in my free time while I was still in my full time job. And then after about six months, I quit that job and took it on full time and launched it um, about six months later um, in December 2021. Um, and although I was doing quite a lot of the stuff by myself, I had a lot of help along the way. Um, I, you know, people were constantly kind of giving me advice and Petra was one of the kind of key roles in helping me come up with the first design for the brand um, that has now become kind of the, you know, center point of it. Um, you know, incredible piece of uh, artwork that has a lot of meaning behind it and, um, Obviously, I'll let Petra kind of speak about it. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a kind of whirlwind journey. There's a lot's happened in sort of 18 months, and it's still, although it's still very early days, it feels like so much been has happened and been accomplished. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really exciting kind of journey to be on. Yeah. So when Will first approached me about taking it forward, Frankie and I were completely blown away and super proud of the fact that what Hugo had envisaged was actually then going to be brought to life. Um, so I remember having those initial discussions with him about the product and also really importantly about what we as, you know, Hugo's ex-teachers and the fraud as an institution could do to support that. So being able to be a part of that and to have Will come to the FRA and do a project with our first year students last year um, was a real accomplishment because then we got to actually see it come to life and see those ideas being brought to the fore and him being able to then come back and show us this year with our new first year students how far he'd got with that um, and how he developed the brand, the brand image, um, the product, the logos. You know, he has really done an amazing job of bringing Hugo's vision to light. You can see that just reflected through everything that Will aims to do. Hugo is a completely the heart of that. I thought it was the best thing ever. <laughs> it was a genius <laughs> idea. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I like, Hugo had showed me the project um, before and I'd seen like the depth of it and exactly, it had such a clear idea of what it, what he wanted it to be. And so it felt very natural that it would move into something, especially because Will would definitely have the skill set to turn it into a business more than like, I can imagine Hugo would. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so like, you could take it that extra step sort of, but yeah, no, um, I was, I thought it was the best decision ever and I was really happy when you asked me to be a part of it as well. So the values and the kind of messaging for the brand were very much um, already there from Hugh's writing. Um, and again, never knew he was kind of such an articulate writer, but I think it was because he was speaking about something so personal because of himself dealing with mental illness. It kind of came from such an authentic place. And um, I, all, I kind of, having read through like his entire magazine, because that was the kind of his final output, um, I just managed to take snippets from all the different uh, bits and then start kind of creating this, you know, brand, these brand values and this brand vision. And the kind of mission statement of the brand, I guess, is that you're using fashion as that stepping stone to address the mental health crisis and to encourage mental health conversations to happen. And people don't expect that, you know, fashion has never really been an area where you immediately partner with mental health. However, it has always been kind of that symbol of you know hope and a way for people to express themselves and feel comfortable and in what they're wearing and so it's actually kind of for me and obviously for Hugo it, it makes a lot of sense that the two kind of come together um, and so one of the big sort of taglines of the brand is that we always want to put the purpose of the brand over profit and over the business side of it 
yes, we are a business, but the kind of sales and the money and all that isn't that important. What's important and is intrinsic to the entire brand is is the um, is the purpose of it. The why are we doing this? Who are we helping? And the community that we want to build through H Clothing and you know, make sure, in Hugo's words, no person ever has to face mental illness alone. The important part of the brand is that it's sustainable. I think when I was kind of starting to make it all, and obviously again, Hugo's project mentioned that it had to be sustainable, um, was that I didn't want to come become like another fast fashion um, brand, despite the fact that it's cheaper and easier to, to do. I was very intent on, you know, with our generation, I think we're a lot more aware of you know, what's going on uh, around the world uh, regarding sort of the climate. And so it was a no-brainer that I had to make things, you know, with 100% organic cotton, which the t-shirts are, making sure my packaging was sustainable, um, you know, planting a tree for every item we sell. Um, so that's, you know, that's a really important part, important part of the brand. And I went out to the factory in Portugal where the clothes are made and wanted to see it for myself, make sure that the kind of ethical side of it was there as well. Um, and that was really cool seeing it all, all being made. Um, yeah, and so that's um, that's always been and always will be a really important um, part of the brand. So Hugo was an amazing student. He's one of those students I say, you know, in your lifetime of teaching, there's always those kids that you just remember. And he was one of those kids that you would always remember after they've left you for the, for the length of time that they've spent with you. He had so much energy in the classroom super passionate about everything to do with anything creative. Um, I just remember always forever his dress sense, his handful of rings that he used to wear and just the positive energy that he used to bring to my classroom. And I would say literally every day up until the last day that I taught him. He was an incredible character. He was one of those people that kind of lit up a room, you know, left a mark on everyone he met. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, he was, a, he was a joy to be around a lot of the time. And, yeah, it's obviously the kind of um, very sad that he wasn't able to kind of continue that journey because um, I think he was really starting to come into his own um, sort of towards the end of Fra. So his final age project was all about mental health awareness and how he could raise awareness for that through through fashion. And I remember him coming to see me and show me what he had done so far and knowing how creative Hugo could be, to say I was blown away by what he'd done is probably an understatement. It was a massive feat of work that he'd done. I remember seeing him working away in like, in fact, it's probably one of the small classrooms upstairs, plowing away at it in his own time, outside of college hours, um, to make sure that he pulled off this piece of work because he had really clear aims and goals in terms of what he wanted to do next. Um, so going on to university was the key thing for him and his FMP would, you know, it, it just blew me away in terms of the amount of work and effort he put in, the quality of the work that he produced, and just the whole creativity of his ideas and how he pulled everything together was genuinely phenomenal. He really enjoyed the fashion course. I think that's where he found what he wanted to do and like who he was in like an educational sense really as well. Because I think he, I think the school system kind of prohibited his like wild creativity as a human. And then when he went into the college, he was just like, kind of could just do what he wanted and be rewarded for that and get the freedom he needed as well. And what I think. Yeah, no, I think that's a really good way of putting it. It's definitely that kind of, mm. he was, he was too creative for the kind of traditional school schooling. So Fra really allowed him to kind of, without sounding too cliche, like expand his wings and really get into it. And although I know he, you know, missed a fair few lessons and stuff, and <laughs> all that stuff, the classic kind of naughty school kid, um, I think his FMP kind of cemented his reason that he was there and kind of that he deserved to be there. Um, and obviously it's also what, you know, helped him get into, into uni. So Hugo was contagious is a really good way to put it. And he had a tribe of friends in that classroom that through his personality and just the way he was as a genuine soul, he just attracted people to him just through his personality, um, just the way he used to embrace absolutely everybody. Um, no discrimination with Hugo in terms of who he would associate with or talk to in the classroom. He was just a great, really lovely kid to, to be around and you could see that reflected in, like I said, himself and also his peers as well, just that whole energy that he brought to, to that actual group.
I think it's just a really beautiful thing that it that something so amazing can come from it. Like this brand is about mental health and making people happy and adding positive spin to the fashion industry and sustainability and all of those things have come from what Hugo had given to the world and through Will making it into something big, big and beautiful and I think that's really amazing. Yeah, and I think it, like, it was like it was it was undoubtedly going to be a thing with Hugo that he was one day going to you know he saw his talks about starting yeah. to a fashion brand or something was going to happen and um, and I think this could have been a project that he would have happily you know taken on himself and you know mm. in an ideal world if he'd been here today with us doing it you know that would have been incredible um, but I kind of felt very comfortable having Petra and there was also another girl called Sophia um, involved because you know you were going to go to university with them anyway and you know. Mm. very talented artist so I didn't have to sort of worry too much about that side of it because I knew I could kind of just you know we could get work on it together and I, I and you know do it in a very kind of organic way um, yeah. because you know we the drawings that you came up with kind of we were back and forth with quite a lot of things and then I remember I distinctly remember the first drawing you ever did of the mind mm. and just immediately being like wow this is incredible and then you just kind of developed it. Yeah, I remember I was looking through the first ones I did at the right at the beginning, they were rubbish. <laughs> well, I think it's really cool how they went from like pencil, just like half, like a half face all the way through. Yeah. Right? Yeah, um, so, so, so currently we're, um, I'm, Petra's working on a new design for the brand, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Want to kind of bring out a new t-shirt. Uh, and hoping for that to come out maybe in the next couple of months. And then, just trying to sort of expand its reach, you know, just trying to grow on social media platforms, trying to get into as many markets as possible, potentially even start getting into sort of independent shops and stuff. And um, and then on the mental health side of it and the kind of community side of it, we're just trying to sort of grow that as much as possible, start making people aware of what we do and who we are. Um, because I want to make sure that people don't see it as just like a fashion brand, like a shop, but it's actually very much a community that you can, you know, come to and talk about what you're going through. and. I want it to be as organic as possible in terms of how that manifests, but you know, whether it's things like meetups or conversations that happen online, whatever it is, some of which are already happening. Um, that's kind of, I'm really trying to drive that as much as possible because that's, as I said, that's the purpose of the brand, that's what's gonna carry it. Um, so, and then yeah, in terms of working with Fra, so um, it's been, Fra have been really great in terms of last year, I obviously worked with some of the students to come up with some of the sort of marketing ideas for the brand before I'd launched and then, um, I went in a few weeks ago to talk to some of the students about where we are today in the presentation and get them to sort of see some of the clothes and try some of them on, uh, which is really nice. And then I think we're going to be doing like a few more little like pop-ups and stuff and um, and obviously, you know, things like this uh, are, are always sort of really, really useful for, um, for the brand just to be able to like talk about it and get that message out there. I think it, it has the potential to be hugely impactful. We know that having come out of the pandemic, that young people today are so hugely affected in terms of their mental health and the resilience they need to have to be able to deal with the challenges that they face with. So we'll bring this to the fore and moving forward with, with this brand is a real amazing way and valuable way actually to raise awareness of mental health and how actually we can you know, have mental wealth um, as we move forward. So yeah, I think it's phenomenal what he's doing.